Hello and welcome to Zaxtria. We are back for another night at the Nuts Around Table. If you're watching, make sure you're following so you get put in the giveaway once we reach 100 followers. I think we're at like 80, so it's about 20 or so away if you can do math. Um, if you are okay. watching and following, make sure you're also subscribing because uh, you get put in a giveaway for a custom mini from Hero Forge. Um, Make sure you check out our YouTube. There are VODs all the way up until episode 93 at this point, I believe. Um, I think this is episode 97, so uh, you got plenty of time to catch up. <laughs> um, we are going to dive right into this, though. Uh, last you guys had left off, after returning from the fourth lair um, and stopping essentially the attack that you have found yourselves in now. Um, you stopped the portal and cut off the beacon to a point where uh, Venore was able to keep at bay whatever attack was coming towards them. And you've made your way into that fray uh, after leaving Teneveth and making your way here uh, via teleportation by... Um, holy shit, I can't think of it. Tobias. Name. Tobias, thank you. Uh, from Tobias to get you to the Ever Tree which brought you out into where you are now within the Redwoods, where you can see there is thick smoke everywhere, flames, all sorts of ash and soot lining the ground, along with bodies of both elves and demons. At this point, you have fought a small little uh, group of blood demons that have been kind of just running through rampantly and uh, nonsensical, like there doesn't really seem to be a pattern to what they were doing, um, but they were in the middle of some sort of fight. This over here is pretty heavy with smoke and you can see that there was a good amount of elven guards that came in this direction and went that way, and you can hear the clanking of steel along with some war cries and screams coming from that direction. And Chelonia at this point has set down his bow staff of wind and pushed it in this direction. So there's like this 60 foot line of strong wind going that way, pushing uh, some of the smoke away that you can now see uh, most of you looking in that direction. The two guards in the front here, which I had explained, are in this very heavy brass armor holding shields. And they're not walking around like charging forward or sprinting or um, even in like this heavy battle mode, they're kind of more just like scanning everything that's going on. And then as Trelonia kind of pushed the wind in that direction, they pointed their blades outward and gave a command, and you watched all the blood demons start to kind of like pour around them, running at you guys. So, put the smoke back. at this point, I need everyone to re-roll your initiative. Oh, fuck. What? So, is that guy still alive? Holy. He is. So, Tom, is Connor... Where's Connor? Right He's back Where's this guy? No, I mean the guy. Oh, right there. Someone's going to have to play Connor. I'll play him. I'm sitting right here. I got the same It's funny that and someone might have to last week, uh, when, here for a minute. Last week when uh, we were trying to decide who I'm played play Moldra. Him for a while. Send him over there. Can you do this for a minute? <laughs> I'm probably, he shouldn't be too long once K gets here. Okay. Is it crazy to luck in this? We'll take turns. We'll tag team up. Yeah. Up you? <laughs> <laughs> My bulls sucked, so. And I have advantage. I'm not going from the, the fucking top of the initiative to the bottom. I'm fucking lucky. One was out of 20. This game sucks. So bad. What's your initiative? Okay. Plus six. So you got 14? Don't go and say it to everyone, dude. I want to be the guy who says it. Damn, I got like the shittiest roll I could get nice to me. I don't know how that even makes sense. <laughs> Okay, uh, anybody above 20? I get that proficiency too. Bro, he's cheating. Anybody above 20? No? no. Oh, wait, what's Connor's? No. No, okay. 20 to 15. Connor 17, Muldrick 16. 16. You definitely beat me on dexterity. You can go first. <laughs> How kind of you? Yeah. Connor 17 or something? Yeah. And then Ezreal. And Moldrak. 15 to 10. 14. 13. <laughs> 12 is 9. <laughs> okay. You have plus 6. <laughs> I just want to point that out. <laughs> In case you forgot. Yeah, I luck too if you want. Give me a map too, dude. <laughs> Choked it up. Die. 
I got those COVID in game, lungs, man. Obviously, in game. We are in a forest full of thick smoke. The forest. The forest too. <coughs> the floor is lava. It's about to be. <laughs> You're turning the floor lava? Yeah. Get up to higher ground. I don't know if it matters, <laughs> but you All use right. your rock bite thing once already. All right. They have those. marked it. I think that was the only thing it used though. Okay, so yeah, he marked it. Perfect. Initially, right away, uh, these demons on the backside here start pouring in, and this one runs around to the czar here. Who does he think he is? Uh, so, right here, anything that runs this way is half movement speed. This guy. Oh, shit. Can you drop your mic? No, I did not lost the little dice. And he'll just dash. I'm going to mute you. Feel around with my feet. I see. You might have to be real cool. You're good. able to attack. Uh, I'm trying to take this off. You should probably dodge as a bonus action with one of his key. Boom. Yeah. That won't make it to there. Or run away. Dodge gives disadvantage to your attack. You just to get the hell out of there. Right where he's at. He needs to put the Face him like a fucking man. Die like a turtle. In your shot. I'm good. We'll just leave you when you do that. I'm gonna dash. I'll just do the same. Alright, so uh, only two of these are able to make attacks, and then the one's gonna be able to make attacks on you. Cool. Uh, this guy likes to pile it back here with his dash. Alright, so the two attacks on Trelone are not two, there's more than that. But you just choose to only do two. Um, that is true. All three of them? It is your decision. First one? Uh, what's Trelone's dex? 73. 13. No, is it 13? Yeah. Okay, so he's blanked right now. No. Blanked. He's First he's, attack uh, at advantage. What's the point? He, he's he's not looking good. He's Gargantuan. He's garbage. Nope. First swing comes across and he ducks underneath it. Second swing from that guy, 26. Maybe that's garbage. Third swing, also 26. One of those weird ass words that nobody ever says. 19 points slashing damage from both of those combined. Do we got a pencil over here? Next one is three attacks. Bro, the turtle is turning four. And he didn't even have a chance to do anything. Uh. 18. Uh. Okay. Uh. Yeah, I mean, he doesn't have shield. Yeah, that sounds back. <laughs> <laughs> How doesn't he have that as a reaction? More damage from those reactions. You can pop in your shield. Sorry. <laughs> they instantly swarm onto Trelonia, some of them pushing very tough against the wind blowing at them. They're like clawing into the ground and jumping. Some of them are kind of tumbling over from the gust of wind pushing against them, but the others that are on the sides and kind of run around it are able to get some stabs into the side of Trelonia. He dodges a couple, um, but they, most of them make contact. And then the three attacks against Zar here. Zar, what's your dex? I'm flanked. <coughs> okay. <coughs> but, um... Uh, 22? Yeah. But they don't get the 21. extra advantage thing because I didn't attack recklessly. 22, 21, and 13. Two hit. Okay. You said 22 and 21? Yes. Okay. I forgot I was hasty. They both hit still, right? Yeah. yeah okay. Uh, so 21 points of slashing damage. Total? Halved to 10. 10. Okay. This one initially just runs up at you, takes this blade and goes to stab it at you, uh, makes contact and then you see the two swarming from your side and it takes your attention over there to where uh, he is able to make one more swing on you but then once you focus back around and kind of smack your axe towards him. Um, that's those demons. It is Connor and then Azrael. Well, I'm Connor. <laughs> Honestly, Trelawney is on his way out, Connor so you might as well drop a meteor on him. 
You're right. I don't want to waste all the spells on them. It seems like we made a preserver of the stuff here. Um, he can hit all those guys without... I don't know his spells. Is he concentrating? You're hasted, right? Yeah, yeah that's yeah. why he's concentrating that. And he's got something on him right now. I can't remember what the fuck yeah. it was. I don't think so. Some sort of magical effect. Oh, the resistance, the slashing damage. Oh, from the one guy. Yeah, get him in there. Probably. He's got resistance to <laughs> probably, slashing damage. Probably he's wishes he'd have done that to himself. Yeah, he's a tank for sure. Uh, he's got this, right? The meteor? <laughs> he's got this, this plastic <laughs> circle. Does it hit the back, guys? Isn't it bigger than that? Might not hit the front two, then. I don't really want that. Well, you we can hit these hit back Charlie. three and these <laughs> two, but you won't hit the front guys here. Which, how two. many guys am I missing with that? The two right two. next to him. You, hit, you missed these front ones. You hit the two yeah, in the front we'll do. Them. Or you could hit all of them and miss these ones. No, I want to hit the back guys. Okay, so you're gonna get just the way that this has to sit. Can it looks like do, these three here and these. Can two. he do something that changes like his element or whatever? Yeah, I think so. Transmuted spell. Well, he has to spend sorcerer point. I don't know if he would want to do that. Well, I think they're immune. To Fire. Yeah. Does the meteor do fire? One, it's either I think it's half fire or half blood. Does it half blood. fire, half blood? I think. I don't know how many sorcery points he has. Are they listed somewhere? It doesn't say he's used any. I don't he has think a he lot. Has. How much does he use? I need to look up the transmuted spell thing really quick. Mm -hmm. You shouldn't be allowed to not come if you have the most confusing character in the game. My character's easy. I don't know how you guys couldn't that's figure what, it out. That's what Connor's talking about. That's what the hell. You're allowed to miss. If you missed, it'd be pretty cool. Mostly because I get to play your character. <laughs> <laughs> Pocket Barbarian was kind of sick for that little bit of time. <laughs> <laughs> it, only, it only takes one sorcery point. We're doing. You that. might be dead. I'm not gonna lie. Already it's that bad. fast. It's yeah, bad. that fast. Look where you're at. <laughs> you have 61 HP. And you you're surrounded by that. five demons. It's only five. Um. Okay. So we'll go ahead and I guess we'll drop a meteor. Okay. Uh. He's also dropping a meteor on your head. I'm going to make it... You can't, you can't fuck around and make it holy, guy. <laughs> no, unfortunately not. Uh, I don't know. I guess lightning, I lightning damage? Okay. Uh, and Zavrex is going to cast it. Um... <laughs> What's the what's the damage dice of this spell? Like thirty or something? Yeah, thirty D six. Which volume of spells? <laughs> the meteor should be in the, it's in the first one. First one. Ten D eight. God, I don't have enough D eights. And I got a bag. Sorry, this is the longest turn in the ministry. That's all right. Okay, okay we're only playing for the nine, so you just take up the whole the two hours. <laughs> well, if, <laughs> if Jerry <laughs> showed up, it would be. True. I got him. Anything from the last session that anybody remembers that we're not covering right now? Am I missing like, something? No, like effects or something. I have to try and make sure that nothing gets I don't think we oh, yeah, these guys are all paralyzed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so that guy's 28 to save. Fails. 14. Oh, fuck. <laughs> what you get? Fails. A 20. Uh, I think that succeeds, but I'm not sure. Then those back two. Does he not have a generic spell? Uh, Ten. These guys got high decks. Oh, it's and right sixteen. So I think that the only one that succeeds. Oh wait, does twenty? They look one is DC or twenty? It says nineteen on here, but I don't know if that's oh, accurate. Oh fuck! Then. Yeah, it is. Uh, unless he didn't change it. But either way, nothing he has is gonna get it. What is it? Higher. It's spell casting. So plus two succeed. A certain yeah. Spell casting plus his proficiency. Plus his proficiency. So eight and what six already? Yeah, so it'd be 19, 14, 5. So these, these two right here are safe. 
Alright. The meteor? <laughs> yeah, that's what it's <laughs> Fifty points of fifty points of lightning damage okay. against those guys. Uh, half I mean, your flex on you is your own element. Dude. Half to twenty-five. I just oh, I don't. Yeah. It was like acid, lightning, thunder, poison, no, fire, he's cold. Gotta step it up and I don't. Dude, what this, there's about. a storm just looming over us all the time. It just yeah. thematically makes sense. See. I'm just saying, step up your lightning shit, because it's getting weak. Connor's inspired by me. Yes. Plus one to inspiration. Let's go. Yeah. Nobody cares. <laughs> Nobody cares about the guy that inspired the guy who would fucking... All right, so Connor starts to compile this just ball of random elements and slam it down onto the demons here. Um, you can see that they definitely react pretty heavily to it, as opposed to any fire damage that probably would not have affected them. Um, so you just watch the big ass explosion of energy behind it. Oh, did these two guys make saves? Uh, they both failed. Okay, they took the full 50 there. Sick. Alright. Um, after Connor, er, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. Azrael, you're up. Muldrak, you're on deck. Short sure. blast. Does it the same thing? <laughs> <laughs> Damn. She's fast enough to draw and she would breathe and think alike. Yeah, that looks like 5, 10, 15, 20, 20. Yeah, I think it hits all these. So yeah, everyone but like two guys. Um, so as, as Rael dips in between the trees out of sight of everyone, he's going to emerge on the other side with his, uh, uh, what's it, clave or whatever up in the air. Bright blue energy radiating out from it. He's going to activate his channel divinity of turned demons. Oh, so every one of them 30 feet, got to make a wisdom save. Okay. Do that one first. Yep. DC isn't very high, but it's wisdom, so hopefully. Uh. Play it slow. They have negative wisdom? Minus 12 to wisdom. Saves. So DC 15. They can function, but they can't remember anything that Ten. happened a millisecond the first ago. One there. Well, 13. Fail. 9. Fail. 12. Fail. 14. Fail. 14 again. Fail. 16. Okay, so he succeeds. All, all the other demons are turned, which means that uh, your turn for one minute, you can repeat the save at the end of their turn. The turn creator must spend this turn trying to move as far away from me as I can, and they cannot willingly move closer to me. They cannot take reactions, and their only action can be to dash or escape from an effect that prevents them from moving. If they cannot move, they can dodge. So they have to run away. If we hit them, does it affect it? Nope. <laughs> does it? That's nuts. I'm just gonna drop these on the other two. You cheating? Or is it just <laughs> It says level 18. Those are paladin stuff. Oh. Alright, so as Azrael does that, you can see this bright blue energy emanating from him. His eyes completely glazed over with this whitish blue. The demons that are there, um, you can kind of see them just turn almost like the hair or if they had hair like something on the back they just feel goosebumps on the back of their neck turn around and see him and start to like some of them drop their blades and get on all fours and get ready to just start crawling away backing up against the walls um and you can definitely tell that it's very obvious that it is him that they are frightened of i imagine in their eyes they probably like see him instead of seeing me as me they see me as like some holy energy of like cabraxia like a, an actual like an angel or something And then after that, we'll try to gear it up. Monkey doke. Uh. Mm -hmm. Right, let's go. Oh, that's. 
Nope, the other guy was out of range. Okay. I got so much time. Like... Andrew, you're up next, and then Zar. The Trillion. Uh, I'm gonna run up to this uh, demon on the side here. Yep, that one. Is my rock bike gone at this point? Yeah, it okay. went away, I believe, two rounds ago. Okay. Um. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna recast it as I run over. Okay. Uh, and I'm gonna take some swings at that guy there. It kind of <coughs> consolidates with, like, ashy like rock it's like not quite volcanic but it's just kind of beaten up um covered in soot uh 18 and uh 20. okay um both of those oh the 20 hits 20 hits okay yeah. Uh, he needs to make a strength saving throw. Uh, 13. Uh, fail. He's knocked prone. Okay. Could I have retroactively made that attack I missed with advantage? We can call the one yeah. I missed my first attack if you want, though. Sure. Um... The damage for that one is 12 plus 10, 22 uh, okay. points of bludgeoning. No, I think it still would have missed, so just one attack. Okay. You said 22? <laughs> yeah. Oh, is that the camera again? Oh. I think it's from the... Okay. It's gotta be the cable. Stop. It's not the fan in there? No, I don't think it's the cable. No, I don't know. It just sounds like an stuff. electrical. Yeah. Alright. missed it, Billy blew on the cable when it started working, so. Oh, really? <laughs> just gave it a little. Caress. I could have said blew the cable, but I chose not to. Okay. <laughs> uh, blew the cable. You got deep in the cable. Walking up with the first collection of it, you go to swing, uh, and as you do, the rock just congealing almost to the, the back of the hammer and then it falls forward and all of it breaks off and slams into the side causing it to slam against the tree and kind of skitter downward. Um, it sees its allies like the other demons starting to kind of freak out and is panicking as well but still trying to get up and its attention is more kind of brought towards you uh, and as you are looking at it you go to like swing down and it's just like moving out of the way you're breaking off like splinters of the tree from swinging down at it um, but you miss unfortunately. Yeah. All right. Um, this is the tree that's fallen, right? Yes. So this one's like just all that way. Um, Zar's after Andrew. Andrew, you're up. Zar, you're on deck. I get disadvantage on the guy that's laying down, don't I? Correct. Wait, don't you have a thing there? Because you're not within me. Oh, I thought you had a feat for that. Sure, If you get within five feet of him. Can I get within five feet of him? Five, ten. You should be. Yeah. Easy peasy, buddy. Because <laughs> it's it's not for ranged attacks, it's just if you are outside Lame. of the five feet. Yeah. Uh, so wait, do you have advantage now? Because he's prone. Yes. Fucking advantage? An attack roll against a creature has disadvantage if the attacker is... Yeah, you get advantage. Has advantage if the attacker is within five feet. Oh, wait, I thought it... Is, does it have to be a melee attack? No, nope. just oh. says an attack roll against a creature. But normally you get disadvantage if In you're melee. Yeah. a ranged. Right. But I'm a cheater. Yeah. The first one, charms. If it hits. Okay. Ooh. He's you trying to seduce this demon. It's a wisdom sick. That's what he's got to make. When I hit the sharpshooter attack right here. 22. It's... Wisdom save? Yep. 15. I think that beats your DC. To figure out. I think it's 13. I think it is more. It might be 14, but oh, still. Oh, it might be. I don't know. 
it's probably it's already at the base of it. Eight plus what six, right? So fourteen. No, right. Well, it's fifteen then. I think it's based off of charisma. Damn. Seduce him today. Not today. <laughs> he was looking kind of cute though. <laughs> Twenty-one damage. Twenty-two. Oh, that's cool. You got ten more attacks. I I second you hit. Roll an additional di die for your card damage. It's fire. Yeah. Yeah, so don't even roll it. Yikers. I just said don't even waste your time. Is that your extra dice? Is it a deal? It's natural. Is it another natural? Seven. I can't see those <laughs> dice. Seven. <laughs> I didn't say sharpshooter. No, no you did not. Way not to say sharpshooter. It wouldn't have hit if I did, so I'm not upset about it. 23? It's nice. Just cheating the system. I know what I'm going to roll before I do. 16 damage. Okay. And then sharpshooter on this one. I can't roll. 17 to hit. 17 misses. See, no one covers. Sharpshooter. Natural 20. Does natural 20 hit? Yep. No. <laughs> That's not good. This is. Do the scatter die? Always. Uh. Yeah. I feel like it's. One right there. If not, I think I hit it five. That 11 damage didn't happen because one of the cards turns me invisible, so I didn't throw it. There was no 11 damage. I lied. Damn. What a kill. Alright. What a kill in the invisibility. Alright. Um, <laughs> but as you start chucking the cards, when you start to walk up, um, you throw the first, how many is it? Like three that you yeah. land? Yeah. The three that you land, you're just throwing them and yelling, like right up in the face of the demon. They're all slamming up into like the jaw and face area. One of them lands in the neck. And you feel those eyes like on you again the eyes that you saw inside of the smoke and you draw the invisibility card and kind of have this split second where like you may be able to like and then you just use it and activate it to disappear out of a slight bit of fear it was the fourth one so i attacked right after the invisibility went off so it didn't i'm not actually invisible <laughs> you're so confusing sometimes <laughs> So does the 11 damage happen or no? No, no. no. But I went invisible I and you. then attacked. <laughs> Understood. We'll the, keep uh, going. The eye effect last time? <coughs> for him or for you? Oh, I didn't, didn't happen to me. Exactly. He saw... Uh, he, nothing's really affecting you. Oh, wait. Did you have something affecting you? I don't you think anything. Saw, like, saw the eye. You just like saw him, right? Yeah. That's all it was. Yeah. Yeah. Other than that, nothing yet. I said yeah. Okay. Uh, after Ander, Zar, you're up. Shalom, you're up. Start smashing skulls. Feel free to take that guy on the ground out. Or go for the other guys. He has less than 11 HP. I need I need to uh, look at something here. Okay. It's like I'm playing billiards. I need an angle. <laughs> it's awesome. Don't you fall. Guys. Don't Looking fall. Here? Yeah. Okay. So, I just seen him smacking his face on the table and then D&D's and I was trying to make sure his, uh... How, a full how booty far? Hole, it's just a five foot wide <laughs> scam. Okay. It's a hundred feet, five foot wide. Oh, oh fuck. Uh, then, like right here is what you got. I think you might miss that guy though. Okay. Like, what? so wait. So you can either 
actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think the, you can too. Or if you go here, character. I think you can, yeah, you can do that. I'll hit one, two, three, four. You'll I don't know straight two, lines go like this. Three, four. Okay. So, like, right here. Yeah, boom, that, boom, right? boom, boom. <clears throat> Alright, so, as, after I just walked up and three people exploded, those guys, three people? Yeah. I'm, you know, still in this fit of rage, trying to figure out what the hell just happened, a tree falls down, all of a sudden this demon comes up, stabs me once, two other guys come up running behind me, I turn really quick, as the smoke's moving around, I see these guys, and I just let out a giant yell, but instead what happens is, I cast, uh, <laughs> I just want to call it the right thing, mm -hmm. I need to be correct here. Got it. Lightning bolt. Okay. And in my roar, lightning just projects itself out of my chest straight towards that guy. Okay. So I need all four of those guys to make a dexterity save for him. Okay, so the first guy. Negative uh, 23. Actually, yeah, fails twice. Success. The second guy. 16. That's a success. Third guy. Yeah, that would be rough. Uh, 12. That's a failure. And the fourth guy at the very end there is natural 20. So this guy failed. Right? Yeah. Success, success, success. Bro, right, well, he tried to do something cool and you did that to him? That's kind of fucked up. I knew they had high decks. That is disrespectful, kind of figure, honestly. Yeah. Man, disrespectful. Um, uh, and he's a luck Make him reroll that time. How does the spell casting <laughs> modify? It's also like work? three miles away. Is <laughs> that head? It's like the you add the spellcasting modifier? The spellcasting modifier is plus five. What is it? What do you use for your spell save DC for the axe? biceps. Constitution? <laughs> Rank. <laughs> Does it have DC a DC on it? 16. Oh, it has a DC on it? And then a spellcasting Okay, modifier. just use your constitution. Okay. Wait, my constitution? I'm gonna like as, the, as your spellcasting ability modifier. It's higher oh. than so 16. Typically, 17. Okay. So typically, like, your yeah. spell save DC... Well, no, no, it says it's plus five. Yeah. Oh, it does? Yeah. Oh. So is that just added on top of the damage? Yes. Is that how that works? Okay. Okay. Right. That's what I was trying to do. So the spellcasting things are already delineated. What the fuck did you yeah, guys yeah. even just talk about? <laughs> what? I you can't cast spells I didn't you wouldn't understand. understand. For sure. You gonna <laughs> kill me? <laughs> Try me. Uh, I haven't died yet. He's not invisible anymore. That was in response to your comment about, wow, dude, you can't want to do something cool? I tried to get your attention, but you weren't looking at me. <laughs> I was wow, just, you held that for that long. <laughs> All the shit I taught got Brian killed. It's crazy. So it does 29, and it's half for those other three. Okay. Yeah, he really disrespected it. Oh my god, you guys are going to make me cry. And then he was like, yeah, it didn't matter what you guys said. I'm just going to die anyway. I've never hated someone more in my life. <laughs> I'm gonna be fucking upset about that for the rest of my life. I'm gonna bring that shit up in like 20 years with him. And then tell his kids, you know your dad. <laughs> <laughs> and then I kind of just like shake my head, not realizing what happened. And I see the guy that stabbed me laying on the ground. I'll just take a swing at him really quick. You just, you just a lightning bullet, and then you kind of die. It. Oh. Uh, I thought you can only get the extra attack if you use the attack action. No, it's just, it's just an extra action that I can use to attack with. You can only attack once. Yeah. Okay. I don't get extra attack on that. Hey, just make sure nobody's cheating, dog. I know how haste That's what I'm works. here for, dude. Okay? Um, He's hasted! Like you even Hector! It's the guy on the <laughs> ground, right? No, you obviously okay. not! <laughs> <laughs> wow. I'm only cheating because he allows it. I, I rolled Almost like remember. almost as shittily as I could, but he's still gonna die. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. So I did six, seven, nine. Nine? Sixteen damage. Oh, okay. That's Damn, a big jump. I really wanted Billy to say he lived, because then he had 10 HP. <laughs> Alright, after you scream and let out this huge bolt of lightning from your chest, uh, you can see the lightning that, that arcs cool lightning all the way towards the back. Him, like, like after it's die. subsided, Chelonia, you like shudder your eyes to the side from this huge bright light flying over your, to your right shoulder. Um, and then once that light kind of fades and your eyes readjust and you're kind of looking, you can see at the far end that the 
guard down there with the shield actually like held it up and the shield took a brunt of the electricity that hit into him and then after seeing that you just refocus what you were doing switch hands with the axe and then swing it down just burying the axe into the chest of the guy on the ground the guy in front of me needs to make an extra okay uh 25 Seeds, but still takes right there. Six, like two. Two? Damn. Alright, just class. Parks off the axe as I swing at the other guy. Alright. <coughs> Trelonia, you're up. These guys can't take reactions anymore. According to your shot. Uh, Azrael? Yeah. They cannot take reactions, mm -hmm. so they cannot attack you if you're right. If I want to run another okay. right. Yeah, so I am going to turn around. Okay. On the ground! Where was I? Right here? Yeah. I saw the whole song. Yikes. So I'm gonna go here. Did you do half? Probably half less than that. that. No, not yeah, movement wise, but like. Because you went this way, you probably 25, 25, 10, 15, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 25. What? Are you calculating all your damage? Uh, what? Here. First combat you so this act. thing is like a giant log, like right here, right? <laughs> like this way. Like this way? Yep, so this is like... I don't need to kill you my damage, I just know I do a lot, okay. I don't say. No, I'm gonna <laughs> I run get it. over it. Kind of really yeah. Different club. You can just run up it with your movement, can't you? Yeah. Yeah, that's how it works. Go ahead and put yourself up there. And then... I am Do you want to be on it like here or back here? Um, jumping distance. Okay. Um, so basically I'm just gonna <clears throat> run towards this log and run up and when I get to the top push off and kind of go right like a, almost like a torpedo right into this guy's back for, and I'm gonna do the my punches here. Okay. I really hit him with the kung fu movies. Mm -hmm. I'm, trying to, I'm trying to get the little extra damage for being doing something cool. I don't know what's going on. Hey, Billy, that was pretty cool, I would say. <laughs> it's only cool if you hit. Damn. Yeah. That's uh, true, that's though. It would be kind of lame. Do I have advantage, hit. too, or no? Uh, no. No. Okay. So that is. 29. Hits. 18. Misses. 28 hits and 16 misses. Uh, and do I? Yes. So I do uh, 33 points of damage. Alright, after running up the tree, um, once you get up there, there's a lot more smoke higher up uh, than you realize. It's like kind of hot too, like when you're breathing it in. Um, it's pushing away and moving out, but it's still there uh, enough to cause a little bit of annoyance. Once you get up there, you can see that you don't have as great of a visual as you would have wanted, but with that, you know the general direction, kind of jump off, and then realize you're a little off base, so at the last minute, push your foot off the tree to actually get to where you need to be, and then as you're falling down, it's just kind of like four quick jabs into the body of the, the blood demon, uh, not really seeing the pressure points and where you want to hit exactly, um, but you know that you do at least uh, enough damage to cause some harm there. All right. Um, bonus action, so you're good. Uh, yes. All right. Up next, the demon guard. Run away from the seas. <laughs> I don't think they're. Those are the guys that are feared. Run away from the seas. Damn, he said it twice. I wonder if they're gonna run away. I said it twice. They have to legally. Legally. How was it? Really good. I fuck with all things when you go, so... It makes sense. It's just different. It's my favorite flavor. You like a Smash player? <laughs> I fuck with Mango, too. He does. A little too much. They have the same hobby. Drinking. He'll <laughs> 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 okay, so prime or... Uh, yeah. It's a good nah. foster. You nah. watch the oh, yeah, two demon guards there as oh, they uh, start to walk up. 
the other demons are turned facing them, uh, kind of running away. Uh, as they're turned and running away, um, <laughs> you see these two right here uh, as they are like <laughs> in this full barrel roll, turning around. Like one of them stumbling to turn and uh, sprint. The two demon guards that are walking up. They're not like sprinting, they just have this very like blade at the side, shield standing up. The two demons that are sprinting away, they're kind of like meeting them halfway. So like about here, where they meet them, the blood demon's like running away. You watch the one demon guard take his blade and just decapitate one of them. And then the other one buries it into the chest of the one and then kicks it off. And says, you're not running, cowards! I could do that. And then you watch Still these two die. Bro, they, they got like 150 HP and he just one tapped them. I'm a little nervous. They're coming <laughs> for us. No, I'm saying, for like, us. <laughs> keep killing your dudes. <laughs> like, he one tapped them for 150 HP. I don't want to fuck with that guy. Do they make saves at the end of their turn? Yep. Okay. So, before, these ones are going to do it on their turn. So, they're going to have two chances to do it. I don't think they're going to do very well, though. Uh, so. 13. Fail. And then for this one, 7. Okay, so it that guy work. made it. Just killed two of them for no reason. You can kill a few more and see if it works. Alright, these two also begin running. Do they get like a fear meter? Like which who they're more scared of on this one? <laughs> <laughs> right now it's Azrael. I'm just saying, he just pulled up as an angel as all that happened, and those guys cut them motherfuckers' heads off. So does it say that they can, or do take the dash action? Uh, they, 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 they have to spend their turn moving as far away as possible. So they would take the dash action, so these guys are not. Or dash action, it can, it can use only the dash action, or try to escape from us, to prevent us from moving. I'm just sitting here holding things, not doing anything, I just drop them. <laughs> okay, so there are some opportunity attacks if you guys want them. Um, the one directly in front of you, this is the one that was hurt, so you can swing at that one if you so choose to do so. And everybody here would get one. Say less. Uh, he can't move. 26 to hit. Just come Fuck. right back. Right. Bring that ass here, boy. <laughs> and uh, make a strength save or he gets knocked prone. Do we still all get to murder him? Bulldrag attacks first. Uh, I'm the fastest. Not true. No, he's way light. faster. I'm way faster. 17. Yeah, 17 just makes it. Okay. Um, so, Trelawney, you definitely get yours. I'd say Czar, you'll get yours. Ander, not so much. I'm the fastest out of the group, man. But what I'm kind of... <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, you almost went through the wall. Hey, they, hey, watch it. We put this up. You might want to be careful going through we that. We just bitch. leave him. The here. demon wouldn't leave. <laughs> it's so fun. <laughs> <laughs> I the love this game. The demon wouldn't leave your range, Jer. That's why. Andrew's range. He wouldn't walk oh, okay. out of it. Oh, he gets no, stopped. No, I understand. I get it. It's weird, yeah. though. <laughs> that hits. Go ahead and roll damage. Got it. Could I have waited one extra second to let him I got short arms, man. Yeah. My range probably like three feet instead of five. Sure. You scream for the crit and then so didn't roll over a four? Uh. Uh. 17. 27. Okay. Damn. I did 84. No wonder he's not keeping track of his damage. <laughs> okay. <laughs> How did you do? Just eighty four. With that? Yeah, I that's what I rolled on the four D twelve. Oh yeah. Oh, you rolled like ten. No, I. This is all automatically. Oh, you did that. Oh, I didn't think. Okay. Automatic. I didn't. Chilonia forgot about that part. Pretty much give like a karate chop or stab <laughs> to a pressure point. You seeing him try to run? You're like holding the axe this way from the last swing that you kind of took. So you just kind of like in the same motion, trying to swing at him, grab it and just switch hands and jab it into his back. You slam it so hard that the lightning kind of wraps around the actual demon, and like I said before, it has like this magnet kind of effect to it, where it kind of like pulls him back onto the blade, and then Moldrak just takes his hammer and slams it into the chest to where the blade of the axe and the head of the hammer meet in between the demon, and then he just crumples on the blade, and then you just take your hand on his back and shove him off, and then he stumbles down onto the ground. I love it. <laughs> We're just the Avengers, dude. 
It's like when they hit Thanos in the head with the so axe they, and the hammer. So the three that ran away <laughs> snake saves at the end of the turn? Nope. Okay, so I'm gonna do the one that was over there. This is the boys Avenger. You wanna lie? 68 <laughs> boys. Pass. Pass. <laughs> So he's about to run oh, away of running charge, back in this direction if he chooses to do so. Uh, the two that ran, the other two that ran this way. 14. Fail. 20. Pass. Alright. So there'll be one coming back this way and one that way if they... Can you just, like, can you just go like god mode or something? Isn't that pretty much all that happens? All that happens? <laughs> <laughs> you got point about that. <laughs> yeah, that's all that happened. Well, but you just okay. Like God, like, it's not really that much of a flex. Um, the that is, that's their turn. Connor's up, then Ezreal. Uh, where did they run off to? Uh, like, general direction? Yep. Just how that, he showed you. That way? Okay. So they're probably not going to be running back towards them. So three or four got executed. Two got executed, one died over here from them, so there still and two then more. two ran away. Okay. I'm sorry. Which there were still two here. So two died. Hold on a second. Was four I've got here. all three of them. Bro, I'm telling you right now, if you aren't critting on every attack, so these two died. From 18 to 20? There was five there total. Mm -hmm. So I'm missing one, you're right. Yeah. No, the one's still standing. Oh no, he's standing there still. No, he, that was a guy that didn't get hit by the range. He was out of the range. I thought there was only four of them. Oh no, you five. Why did I? So two ran that way. Mm -hmm. Four. So he's still running. So one running and one coming back from each direction. Oh, I've got him sitting right here with the thing on him. No, because that guy was here. Yeah. Because he was the last one. <laughs> All right, never mind. We're good. We figured it out though. Whew. Are you sure you got it? Yeah. All I need to know is two are running back, because the other one's going to be Guantanamo on his next turn. Alright. Uh, Connor was up. How As far are guess. these two back guys here? From, From Connor. Connor. Five, ten, are they within 60? 40, 45, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 60. Yeah. He could move up. He could move up. Yeah, could he move up a little bit? How far? Um, just to, just to get in range. range. Yeah, uh, and then he's just going to. Can he see? Does either of these guys look more injured than the other? Or no. Um, this guy too. Yeah, so that, that guy better does. Be crit that guy does. Backwards. Okay, he's gonna charge up some 18. star energy in his hand, and he's gonna throw Lintari's light over there. Okay. Um. Uh, twenty-four to hit. What do you... Hits. Hits? He had to check that, though. You can see like, the... So yeah, I forgot to explain. The way that they're walking up, um, one of them has the... They both have their shields, like, butted up against each other, mm -hmm. and, like, the blade over the top part of it, and they're, like, walking in sync with each other. Well, you think like they're gladiators? Yeah. You do. This ain't Sparta, dog. Give me some, like, Hunter vibes from Halo. <laughs> uh, 20 points of radiant damage. How much? 20. 20? Okay. No, would you mind running up there really yeah. quick? That's my child, I think. 20 to the guy that was already more hurt. Yeah. I don't know if, I don't know if Radiant does any extra, but... It was 20. What? Well, I'm scared to fight without Skip. I... Who's hurt right now? I mean, I am only missing four. A little bit. Okay. I'm <laughs> Yeah, me and him are missing. And I also have, uh, Connor just, like, use some more of his movement to get back behind the tree a little more. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Only reason me and Connor are missing help is because of me. Drew, we close that door. <laughs> Ezreal, you are up. <laughs> you after me, Moldrag? Yes. Yeah, I'm right after you. Okay, you coming over this way? On your turn? Sure. Okay. I'm going that's in there. That's probably where I'm going. <laughs> yeah, I know he said I know what. He just kind of looks at you and yells, like, like, gives a look. Yeah. I just start turning and running that way, though. Yeah. Uh, the clave out, and he starts, like, spinning as he's walking towards him. We might, uh, we might need to redo that. I'll fix it. He'll go ahead and make an attack against 
Okay. The, one he, the first one that he walks up to. Okay. Uh, run upstairs and see if Kay brought us food. Me and you. She might have. I don't know if she stopped or not. Go no, ask. Yeah. And then when you do it on the other side, just push the book forward I and then. Okay. So 28. <laughs> so 28 to hit? Yep, that hits. Okay, so it's a d6 for this weapon. Plus the cold damage. Uh, so just, you need just radiant, right? Separate? I do not need anything delineated. Okay. So 9. The radiant did 15. not seem to affect them differently. Oh. Uh, so 21 damage from that attack. Second one. It's a 24 to hit. 24? Yeah. Uh, 24 hits. Just thinking about it. Uh, another 21 damage. And then, uh, this bonus action, I'll use that extra attack from the having the weapon. Yeah. So I just don't get my modifier. My ability scroll modifier. Uh, that's a 27. Hits. Uh, 7, 8, 14 damage on that one. Do you want to get to that demon? I was going to attack that one. Well, I did not crit at all, so it's down to 17. And, uh, that is my turn. So he just like walks up trying to find angles around the shield and like slashes over the shield, comes up around the back of it and the bonus act and knocks him back and s slashes. Okay. And with the flurry of attacks that you're bringing out, you can see that uh, the way that he's, the shield, like this guy is also, they're working as like one. Like he turns and so does the other guy at the same time and you see the shield kind of, instead of being like this on you, they're kind of now making a V shape to where they funneled you like in between the two of them. And you're not even focused on the other guy, you're just like slashing away and he's trying his best to get in there but you're able to just kind of sidestep to the side as you're doing all of those attacks. And then with the push back and then the next slice up, you're just finding these holes in the shield wall and actually making them uh, yourself and kind of stabbing up and over because you can see that they are actually, you can tell that the hits that you're dealing to them when they're kind of formed together and forming this wall that they're, you know, taking the brunt of some of that damage with the way that they're protecting themselves. Yeah. All right. Um, after Azrael Moldrak, you are up. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna run. I think the closest I can get to is this demon on the side here. Yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and run up. This one here. Yep. Yeah. Uh, I, I saw you count it out already, so I trust you. Um, and I'm going to take three swings. She said she was going to stop, and then I was like, you got to uh, make sure you get Jared something. Lowest hit was a 24. Uh, 24 hits. Okay, so first one. Thank you. Uh, have him make a strength save. Take one. Oh, I missed that. I just made Strength? Yep. Okay. Um, not good. Uh, six. He's prone. So you get advantage on all the other ones. Yeah. So I'll just each one again. And he takes uh, 22 points of damage from the first round. Natural 18. And natural 16. Uh, he's still hit. Twenty-nine points of damage from the second attack. And twenty-seven points of damage from the third attack. Good shit. Alright. Uh, still kind of standing up. Or not standing up, but uh, going strong. Yeah. Um, you can definitely see... Uh, the demons that had just sprinted and ran away are nowhere in sight because of the thick uh, smoke that there is. Um, honestly, really, the only reason you can see your allies and such is the effects coming from them, causing like the lightning from here. You know, uh, Connor's for that wind stuff a lot and of stuff. all of the yeah the wind pushing shit away. Um, but once you get up and over here, it just you guys just focus like is right here. You know, to where everything's going on. 
You see Azrael run up, you can still see the glow coming from him as he's slicing up. You know that you have to get up there as soon as you can, and the first person you come in contact with, just an uppercut with the, with the hammer that causes him to fly back. And when he's up in the air, you just take another swing down, and then just keep pummeling him into the ground. Alright. Ander, you're up. And then Zara, you're on deck. Trick. What are you saying? <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll miss. <laughs> I'm different like that. Who are you hitting? Uh. Alright, I've been knocking dudes down. I can't even see who's up or down. I'm gonna hit the guy on the ground here and then these two standing side by side. I'm gonna hit the Sparta on the left. Your left? Right, Whatever left, left you want. <laughs> you choose which left. The one in front of Azrael. For me, it doesn't matter who I'm hitting. I just want them dead. Yeah, th that one. Come on, fucker. Suffer the card damage and shit. Crit? <laughs> oh, I have to actually. I didn't call Sharpshooter. I'm so bad at this game. I got one job. Yeah. I actually have a lot of jobs over here, but... Uh, 23 to hit. 23 hits. Right, I actually didn't think it was going to hit. Very close. I'm actually glad I didn't land my sharpshooter. 16? Or... Oh, wow. Just, I just said a random number, dude. That's all I did. Uh, <laughs> 13 damage. <laughs> And I take six. Oh, wait. No, I'm just not a sharpshooter. <laughs> Fucking natural 20. Tragic. I hate rolling crits and shit, you know what I'm saying? It's just, it's just not fun, thing. man. It sucks. It sucks. One's a natural 20 and the other one's a 23. Oh, I'm just sad, man. Did you add your extra dice? Mm -hmm. Math heart, that's a 9, Jared. <laughs> you can do it. 18, 25 from the crit, and then... Oh, fuck it, I don't care. 15 from the other one? And the last two. Good. <laughs> uh, the lowest one's a uh, 25. Okay, okay. Why do I roll so much better when I don't use sharpshooter? So toxic. Man. 18 damage. And I'm good. Which one did you take? Hmm, what do you mean? The one in front of shop. He said one of them, and I just said, yeah, I agree. Yeah. I'm gonna hit that guy. <laughs> in front of Azrael. Similar to the attacks dealt by Azrael, you can see the demon guard, the first hit that it kind of sneaks in, hits him up in kind of the upper face area, and then you watch this demon here. From the second one that you throw, it starts to like swing around the back end. He's like sitting in the front like this, sees it, and then swings around where he's back to back with him. And it kind of clips over the top of the shield and then slams into the back of him. And then the cards that are just flying in, they're both just kind of slightly deflecting them to where they're just catching the shield and then catching the body of the, the demon there. Um, they deflect my natural 20? That's toxic. <clears throat> so they're probably taking half damage. Alright. Um, Zar, you're up. After I drop the axe in the guy's back, kind of pick it up, swing it around the other dude. Mm -hmm. My attention turns back towards the dude that I used uh, lightning bolt on. Right one? Yeah. And I've got eight movement. Okay. Uh, as I'm looking at him, I'm going to uh, do the same thing I did before where I just kind of like grip the axe handle in preparation to charge at him. I'm going to use my bonus action to cast Thunderous Might. Alright. Um, and then while charging at him, I'm going to use my haste action 
to use Karanos' might on the axe. Okay. So as I'm charging at him, just letting out this large yell, ready to cleave his fucking head off. Okay. Um, he's hasted. He's I'm also Oh, yeah. So I get a plus two to strength. My crit threshold is now 18 to 20. My lightning and thunder damage is increased by one die. And every time he crits, he fucking instantly does all the lightning damage. And, and thunder. Yeah. And it lasts for three rounds. At the end of the three rounds, I have to do these. If you don't crit at least twice here, you're kicked Eight from the body. Eight attacks. So your hit goes up by one, and your damage goes up by one, too. Yeah. Don't, don't get kicked from the party right here, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying my best. <laughs> Come on. Crit. That's a crit. Yeah. Alright, so I have four, six, so seven, eight, eight, eight six, seven, seven. 14? 48. Oh, you have 8? Yeah, because I cast it under a smite. Oh, shit. So Wait, does that instantly do... Times 2 plus 10. Can I see your player handbook? You got it handy? Oh, I don't know, man. Don't have your player handbook handy? There's, uh, Jerry's right here. Let me see that. Bro, we just did a... Bro about to do 400 damage in one attack! Bro about to do... <laughs> He's gonna cut Whoa. through the two shields. He can kill this guy with the other guy. Yeah. Oh, never mind. I rolled weak on this. Yeah. I keep rolling shitty on the knee calls. Where did the, the feet start? There, there. Six, eight. This is also your first attack. Oh, he so also needs to make bad. a strength saving throw or be knocked prone. Welcome to the prone game. Does it feel bad to know that this could be all halved? <laughs> yeah. What do I gotta do? Sorry. Strength save. Yeah, strength save. And he takes 144 damage. Strength save is 19. He Fail. succeeds. Fail. Uh, and you said how much? 144. Round two. The first swing that you take, it's arcing with lightning. There's thunder just kind of like <laughs> emanating off of it. And you swing the, the axe down. And you can see that the shield kind of catches the part of your, like the bottom part of the axe, like where you're holding it. But you're able to just kind of like power through where he's holding it and slam it into the shoulder, uh, shoulder pad of the armor. It splits through it. You watch this kind of huge thunderous boom from it along with lightning kind of arcing out from it. It's charred and all kind of jacked up and tore up, and then the blade that's buried into the shoulder, as you pull it out, you can see that there's like a little bit of blood attached to it as you yank it from it. But you can definitely tell when you slammed it down with the amount of strength and might that you slammed with, it just did not hit as much as you wanted it to. Still fucking hurt, but... I'm swinging it, bringing the axe back down on it. Alright. And that's my action trying to pull the Nice. Shit. That's a natural 20 crit. Alright. Nice. Million times damage. Alright, roll And the thunderous might's good for one attack, right? Yeah. Okay. So I don't roll it. some good fucking roll here. The four twelves. Yeah. Roll some good roll. Roll some good roll, dude. Four twelves. You're talking shit, but he's rolling some good roll over here. That was a, he's rolling a good roll right there, okay? One more. One more for the road. No, You're still in the to, party. I have to use the action to, uh, my third action to act oh. the thing. How lucky. So you're still in the party, though. <laughs> Unfortunately. Almost as much damage as Ben, dude. <laughs> I know! <laughs> in one I'm, attack. I'm level higher, though. <laughs> <laughs> With the legendary weapon. <laughs> The second swing that comes down, after you slam the first one, take this wide swing on the side that you do, you feel the 
axe actually cleave the shield, like on the side, just put this huge gash in it. You actually bury it into the side of the armor as well. Still not doing as much as you wanted to, but you watch this huge pool of blood just start to ooze out from his side. And when you draw the, the blade back, he gives out this kind of like, and falls over to the side, holding himself up with the shield and the, the blade. Um, you see the guard next to him, uh, instead of trying to like jump to his position and save him, just kind of takes like a slight retreat back, knowing that he's pretty much fucked and he's just trying to like keep out an eye out for himself at this point. Seems like he's ready for some cards. <laughs> okay. Guess we still want to kill this also. Very close. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Uh, Trelonia is up. Um, it's down. It's running in. 61 health. So I got 12 key. I don't know, it's up to you guys what you want him to do. Let's go beat the shit out of the guy on the ground, I guess. Yeah, okay. sure. Alright. He's got the hit. Some attacks. All advantage. Roll them up. Natural 20. Woo! Sheesh. Kill this dude on the ground. Did you just have the. It's just the D8. Should be. Yeah. That's the martial arts damage. Uh, 18 damage. Alright, the second one. It's from the punch. 25. 7 damage. Um, then, it, then he takes 17 <laughs> from both attacks at him. And, uh. Let's spend a key, I guess, to do a full, two more attacks for Flurry. Okay. 27 to hit. Uh, 6 damage. Okay. And 26 to hit again. 25. Uh, and, uh, 9 damage. He's watching right now. I don't know if he's 25 out of 100. He didn't hear it, but everybody else heard it. You were muted. Yeah, I don't know if that was a 6. Point, that was probably like a, was pretty a 5. I did. It wasn't a long step, but it was a quick look. Alright, the guy on the ground, uh, Trulonia runs over and just starts burying his hands into the individual across his chest. Welcome back, your turn is over. <laughs> I probably shouldn't, she's having a meltdown. I gotcha. We're not gonna be doing this much longer. This We're not gonna, gonna be over and then I'm gonna start the next little <laughs> We're thing done. here. We're done. Like, so probably like a half hour at best. You think it's gonna take a half an hour for us to kill these guys? Let's do 10 for fucking 300 in a turn. Yeah. Okay. Who's 290? Low. Dude, why are you if bringing you didn't, yourself down? If you didn't roll low on the first one, it would have been over yeah, 300. Yeah, true. <laughs> After the 3 the three, two, one remaining wasn't really two it. demon guards there. I think there's one guy running back, too. Turns around, uses his Seeing his buddy still having head. some life in him, moves forward. Um. Which way you moving? And... You tell me that he tried to retreat? Does his boy kill him for that? He treated. <laughs> he I retreat. get the kill credit for all the ones that got executed, by the way. So. <laughs> that's fair. No, As that's the fair. guy that's just bleeding from his side is spitting up blood at this point, stands up with like a grin looking at you, blood just spewing from his mouth like he knows he's about to die, does like a slight flourish with his blade and puts it on top, and then looking at you, in the same motion, the two of them kind of turn over towards uh, Azrael and do this just flurry of attacks at him. Uh, Damn, I each thought of he was them just kiss turning you. and uh, attacking him. It's okay, I got a plan. Billy really set that up for him to kiss you and he didn't do it. That's crazy. That's <laughs> <laughs> <Man, it's> fun. <laughs> He's looking at you, he, he keeps looking <laughs> at you and attack. he looks at you yep. and he keeps looking at you and then he hits Azrael. Okay, right. first. At least give him a, like, a little smooch. The audience will take more. That's what they come here for. Yeah. 17. Miss. Homie's kissing. <laughs> 16. Miss. I think it was more of like a, we're gonna kill your friend pussy, because we can't kill you. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Just 
still the first guy? That's both of their attacks. <clears throat> Dodge all of it. Yeah. As uh, they both turn, the one lifts up the shield and goes to swing down at Ezrael, the guy on the side. He just takes the glaive and poof, jams it into his chest as he lifts it up and then just poof, falls lump, uh, slumps over onto the blade. Draw the blade out and then the guy that goes to take the next series of attacks, you just deflect it over to the side oh, where he almost like drops the blade. It just fumbles around in his hand where he catches it and then puts the blade back up. You're all too late. The culling is coming. This guy falls. Bro, no. Bros always be telling you that it that you guys lost when they are they lost. It's just how it is <laughs> true. It's, it's, it's he died, over. Just, like, barely hanging out. He's dead. Oh. I rolled a natural one, so I figured why not just fucking kill him. Never know. Hey, you ground. never know. It could just fall through it's the floor. The not me the fuck up. Um, the head all the areas. <laughs> Got a nice turn. <laughs> guys are not coming back. Connor's up. Connor doesn't uh, want to take a turn. They get lost while they're running away or something. Yeah, he's gonna move back up again. And he's gonna throw another Lintari's light at that guy. Okay. Nah, I think that misses. He's got plus 11. Uh, 17? 17 misses. Yeah. He's just gonna stay concentrating on the, the haste. I can't imagine it's been... This is a 6 round. Yeah, we can run in through these guys. Yeah. Running in. Never mind. No. Yeah, this is six. <laughs> okay. Um, after that. <clears throat> what do we got? Connor? Just get to my turn so I can kill him. Ezrael, you're up. Alright. That guy's already dead. Oh, I'm just keep laying into him. That other guy's got. If you could leave him at like 30, 40 HP, I got it. It's. 12, 19. Yeah, I didn't stun myself yet. Second attack. If there's any way he survives his turn. It's a natural 19, no, so that'll crit at this point. He's, he's lowered. So, boom. Extra I don't think you have to crit at this point. Two extra D8s. Damn. 10, 12, 24. 31. 62, plus 12, yeah. uh, 75. One of these five cards is gonna stun me. <laughs> Two attacks that you just did, right? Yeah. I am okay. confident on this one. And the bonus action last attack. Yeah. Draw it last. That's the whole. So, well, not crit, because I got reset. There's a natural 19. Why does it sound like you might kill this guy? Hey, calm down, right? Uh, 11, 12, 24 damage. <clears throat> you standing in front of him, the blade held out towards you. Uh, after him saying what he says, um, seeing this holy energy emanating from you, your God will not protect you, holy one. It'll die in the heavens as you will all die here. He takes the blade and goes to swing it at you. You just deflect it to the side, take a quick stab. He kind of falls back. Brolnax is coming. Take another swing to where it gets the side of the neck. Blood just spurting from the side. He goes to throw a hand up. Slumps down to the ground. You just take the blade and bury it into the back. Lifting it up with a quick flourish to hold it at your side. The sounds are still echoing around you of battle and things ensuing about. Um, it's hard to really pinpoint direction like of everything around, but there is a very loud noise uh, of that you heard originally of all of the combat and screams and yelling and most of the smoke and flames that are kind of coming from that direction. Everything just seems to be slow rolling this way. Um, so you guys are now standing here, kind of all gathered up to do as you wish. We're gonna go the opposite direction. Need a smart choice. <laughs> we are done helping. I'm heading on it forward. Throw the coin in some water and get me out of here. <laughs> kind of nudge Azrael on the fucking elbow like good shit and then start going that way. Yeah, okay. Let's get it. <laughs> Just yell out to everyone else. It's lag behind a little bit, but we're moving. Alright, show us the next fight. Are you, how are you guys on health right now? 
I think good. everyone is good. 165 out of 12. 206. Alright, how long can you concentrate on haste? Probably. Ten rounds, so he probably runs forward yeah, a little bit good. and then is like... <laughs> just oops, hits the ground. The concentration will wear off along the you also, run that you, you also guys are taking. He also has to roll a DC to see if he gets stunned from the other thing too. <laughs> well this does it... It lasts three rounds. So is that like three actual yeah. rounds or time? Three, three rounds. rounds. Which is so it's like seconds. So yeah, the, the axe, seconds. I'm still like mited up, right? Yeah, for like... Until, okay. 12 seconds and then it, it's gone. No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's opposite. No, it's not. Yeah, like I said, we've probably only got like 15 or so minutes, so if you just want to duck <laughs> It's actually that's up to you. I just feel bad because Kay's got the I know, I got you. I, she's going to give it to me. She's going to fuck it. Billy's just going to show us the fucked up shit we're about to fight. So I'm going to roll call it. Save. Well, uh, I'll talk to you soon, okay, Norm? Yeah, well, she's going to meet us here, so I'm going to, I think, probably. I thought those guys oh, okay. Alright, sounds good. Like that. It's okay, you got another load coming soon. <laughs> that would gross me I out. I said it and it grossed me out. I would have been stunned for you know, a round. Chill out when it grosses <laughs> yourself yeah. out. You've gone too far. Uh, and then the haste. We're just like lethargy for one. Yeah, you're, you're just kind of... So there's this moment. So, I mean, he would he would be zooming, and then we would yeah. probably catch up to can him. We, can we help this guy with the horse? Oh yeah, yeah I mean, deer. you guys just start taking off. I couldn't help him. Um, I ain't carrying no deer. Oh, Essentially, you guys him. first ran over. Yeah, this is Silamir. He's one yeah. of the. I don't know if you watched the thought or anything, but yeah. So Are you he. Here when it's we just originally we're running. I don't know. Okay. Yeah. It'll just happen in the span of time where you guys are like getting ready to start going, and then you're like, oh fuck, hold on a second, <laughs> like oh. Uh, Moldrak, you run over and kind of pull the, the deer from him. Yeah, uh, I'm just gonna... You can see that he's not, like, dead dead, but he's pretty hurt just from, it, like, landing on top of him. Okay. Oh, well, um, he said he was chilling. <laughs> I'll use my, uh... Just because this doesn't... It takes a whole action anyways, so... And I rarely ever use it in combat. I'm gonna spend my D10 to heal him of my elemental okay. water mastery. And I heal him for, uh, 12 points of health. So. Okay. And then reach I'll down just, and pull the water. If he can walk, I'll kind of like you know scoop him under the arm. If he can't walk, I'll just put him like on my on my back. All right. Um, <clears throat> where you are now, as you kind of lift and kind of help him up, yeah. he puts a hand uh, over to your chest. Thank you once again. No problem. Nora needs you once more. Okay. This is kind of the outside of Okier's village right now. I think it may be best for me to just return and report what's going on. Can you make it on your own? There's there's still deer around, right? I think so. I'm sure one They're of those mounts are around okay, somewhere. Okay. I'll tell them we need to send more troops out this way. Yeah. Nah. Alright, well, we aren't going to delay and I just turn and run. Alright. Uh, you guys start running in the direction of uh, where you're assuming all of this is coming from, the, the direction of where the portal would be, um, but you also know that it's, I mean, a good distance of, of travel to get to, to there. Um, you guys are still, I think you guys are, I fuck, what did we figure out? A day or two, maybe? Day or two, maybe three after you got back from. Uh, oh, I thought you were gonna player. say from the portal. I was like, dude, no. we just fought that big ass army from day away from the portal. You're ever uh, getting there? You're probably like two or three days from the portal by foot. Um, oh, we're doomed. You're by at foot. the southern end. The portal's at the very northern end. They got far. Um, so if, like, if that probably puts it into a little bit more perspective. Well, they they it? also like it's not like there's like a settlement right there. Right. It, we had to trace quite a ways. Yeah, that is yeah. fair. You guys traveled like a day's worth already. Yeah. Um, so you I mean you've got like maybe a day and a half or so of that same kind of pace to get to where the portal is, but you're assuming that that's yeah. not just where the brunt is. Like they probably made their way a good distance before the fight actually started. Uh huh. You guys, traveling now, um, are moving pretty briskly. Um, did I have you guys make constitution saves before? We'll do it. I don't think I did. Just mm -hmm. say it. We'll do it. Because you guys didn't rest. You traveled through the, the day. 
the, oh, the that's right. travel you're you right. push through. That's right. So some of you may have been exhausted, but we'll just do it now. Um, we'll say like adrenaline kind of kicked in in that first moment, and now it's starting to wear off, and you may start to feel it here. So. 19. 19, you're good. 19. Say, you're oh, good. Well, 27. Good. 17. Good. 50. Good. Oh, I'll Connor roll for... Tronia. I'll roll you for, want to roll for Tronia? I was going to say, I'll roll for Connor. Uh, Connor should be good. Natural 15 before any bonuses. Good. 12 well, plus 5, so yeah. he's good, too. All right. So you guys are able to kind of push through, but um, just... The, you're just kind of feeling the, the fatigue a little bit, but sure. something is just pushing you to, to keep going forward. Uh, even like the dull moments right now where it is, uh, I don't really want to say quiet, but where nothing is really kind of going on around you, um, you can still hear screams and yells in the distance. Every now and then you catch out of the corner of your eye, deep within the smoke, individuals that are kind of like walking. You can see uh, two or three people that are kind of clutching at their chest. They just kind of like fall forward. You run over to kind of like quickly look at them, but can see that their their face is kind of like charred, like near their mouth. Their chest looks a little bit burnt, as if they inhaled some very like hot gas. The sides of their face look like something scorched them. Um, and then you look over to uh, another individual. You can see he's just got a just mortal wound to his chest that he's just not going to recover from. And you know that you just have to keep pushing on, and this happens more and more often. You're running into people who are too far gone to be saved and healed by any means that would be uh, reasonable, let's say. Um, people that are missing limbs. There is a few demon bodies that you're seeing, um, and uh, Zarvarax, uh, you definitely notice at first. Two or three of these just kind of piles of exploded what looks like guts and like flesh and then you look at it and you see this kind of uh, rotted green flesh caked over the side of a kind of a jaw of what you recognize to be a plague bearer on the ground. So it seems that there may be some of them. Bro, go well. home! You no, keep pushing it forward. We dealt with this shit. As you're pushing forward, uh, can I get a head. marching order? Or you, how it, I, you can yeah. fan out as long as you want, or kind of form more of a line. It's up to you guys because you're running through the woods. But I'd imagine Zarbrex, you just start I'll barreling be, forward. I'll probably be. I don't think I can. Yeah. Well, you would have been stunned. We would have had time to catch up. <laughs> no, I didn't get stunned. It's like <laughs> I just had to like stop for like six. Seconds yeah, but you get stunned from breath. the haste too. Yeah. Just you, you just stop, or... yeah. Um, it, you get yeah, I'll probably be I'll probably be right up next to him. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna have my full speed, so whatever that would put me in relation to everyone. Hey, well, hey, 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 nobody go full speed, guys. I got tiny legs, tiny <laughs> baby <laughs> tiny legs. legs. Anders a week behind us. I'm gonna carry you. If we're running full speed, yeah, then yeah, I'm like football carrying Ander. Okay. <laughs> so that's kind of fucked up. I thought maybe it was like a shoulder thing, but. <laughs> I'm gonna <laughs> touchdown. <laughs> through there. <laughs> You're doing like cool Just flips like... and shit through the air, yeah. Um, it's the Ander grenade. While he's football carrying me, can I get eight hours of rest? <laughs> no. <laughs> you do need a bit of wisdom, Sam. Not again. Uh, Azrael, you as well. Bro, this I'm all be different, dude. Twenty. Head. Since he's in my arms, can I give him my wire's resilience? <laughs> no. Damn. Uh, as Moldrak is uh, essentially carrying you, <laughs> <laughs> you start uh, running. I'm running as he's carrying me? No. <laughs> I meant in general, you guys are all. We're all running. Like just kicking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm holding him out front. <laughs> I'm carrying you. <laughs> <laughs> like a fucking engine. I just gotta get my legs going and then I'm fucking zoom. <laughs> Crank up the ender. <laughs> <laughs> gotta pull me back first. And I get my legs. You run through this kind of uh, funnel of trees. Uh, just because of the way that the brush and everything was, this is kind of like the path. You've been on this path before, the same path you've kind of took. Uh, it's just very hard to recognize from here. Um, and you guys... Does your rage just fucking... No, it only lasts a minute, right? Yeah, it stops. So that goes away. But he rages again. He rages again as we get here. 
Once you get here, uh, the smoke and flames that are just kind of built up here uh, would definitely indicate that there is something probably still on fire in this general area. Um, but before you guys can really do much, uh, Muldrak, you get ready to maybe go over and see if you can manipulate any sort of flame or anything. You set Ander down on the ground next to you and then start to uh, kind of push forward. Ander, as he sets you down, you kind of like take like this stretch and are like sitting here for a moment, like trying to figure out like, oh fuck, like that's a lot of fire. You guys are pretty focused on it. The trees on the side are built up enough, like these smaller ones are heavy with brush underneath. These are the larger redwoods, so you can't really see past them. And this kind of goes on for a good, you know, 80 or so feet back this way. Um, but you do know that once this flame and whatever is here breaks up, like you can easily go through and around this. It's just kind of difficult terrain, uh, we'll say. So, as you're sitting here, Moldrak, you go to take a, a step forward. You take a step forward. As you do, um, something kind of like, you look over at Ander and can see him just staring over here. You feel this just sudden uh, pit in your stomach. Fear takes over your body. You can feel the hairs on the back of your neck standing up something in the, almost like something's just like tickling at the back of your neck you reach over and, and hold it for a moment and then look forward and you can see uh inside of the smoke right here two sets of those eyes that are just Not kind of like slowly rolling forward from that smoke as well you see another set from the third one you see another set of eyes at that point everybody hears this kind of just low You look back and see Ander's face is just ghost white. Your chest feels like it's about to just burst from your heart pounding in it so fast. You actually take a step back for a moment. You see jumping from the first set of flames, nothing but muscle, there's no skin. You can see the mouth is open, there's fire and lava just dripping from it. The eyes are completely blackened with this flame kind of rolling up the center of them. The tail coming off of the back is kind of this cartilaginous bone that's slowly like whipping around. You can see blood dripping from it. This kind of metallic brass chain necklace around the, the neck is dripping with blood as well from spikes that are actually digging into the neck itself and you can see as the first one jumps forward and lands on the ground letting out this kind of like <coughs> blood splashes from the mouth from where the chain is kind of digging into it and as it splashes and lands down you see this large hound jumping forward when he said the the uh, hell or hounds of hell or whatever the fuck he said to me last week, I was like, I was probably just talking about some people. <laughs> Not actually. <laughs> from the second one, you hear this other <laughs> jumping from the smoke once more. Another one. Damn, that one's skinwalker. Oh, He's standing up on two legs. Then from yeah. the third, another. Uh, here in a sword. Drops walking. down. Probably, this thing's probably here to help us. Oh, fuck, it's another one. Oh, it's kind of shield. <laughs> <clears throat> then, uh, oh the three of them standing here, you can hear a voice uh, kind of echo from the, uh, like, it doesn't sound like it's, like, right here. It just sounds like it kind of, like, booms and echoes out this way. Fetch me his call. And then it just kind of corpse, corpse, echoes through. All three of them just start <laughs> jumping and barreling towards Ander directly at him. To where if, I thought you were gonna zombies. Uh, is he frightened? Fetch me their souls. Fetch me their souls. Yeah, I was about the bog, but now I'm just sad. All three I'm of them the running bog. forward as they do. The second they start jolting at you. You instantly feel just terrified immediately like you know you feel like your life is about to end and there's nothing you can do about it you're not even paying attention to your allies around you all you see is these three dogs that are probably three or four times your size barreling at you all three of them open up their mouths as they're jumping towards you and you watch this just flame start to build inside and they all just unleash this lava like fire onto you dead. <laughs> and I'm going to do that first so I need you to make three dexterity saves He's sort of frightened too. Yes. So that, does that make it a disadvantage? I, don't, I think that's for it. Uh, ability checks and attack rolls, so yeah. not saving throws. Fuck. First 
first wound is a 16. 16? Ah, uh, shit. I don't have a DC handy. It's in this book. It's a DC <laughs> handy. If, third, that's, dude. if that succeeds, there's a dub. No, you're scared of that guy. That guy's a pussy. <laughs> No world, I'm scared of this guy. You still have your fire resistance thing? Because you're about to take a you know, bunch. So. I don't think I... I'm pretty sure I didn't take it off because I was just waiting for the... Right. Maybe I did. Just just and and no, I don't think, I don't think you did. I'm trying to think of what... Things the right there? I don't think we picked anything uh, else. Yeah. Right I thought I got something enchanted, but I can't... Or was I going to get the armor enchanted? I think it was the armor and we haven't got it. Yeah. Yeah. What'd you roll? Uh, 16. That's a fail. Oh, it's caught. Dude, what is this roll? What are they rolling? 18 is the next one? Success. Okay, the other one was higher. Okay, so one, you'll take the full damage. I have my ring of fire resistance on. If it's actually fire. Unless lava does it's something fire. else. You never know, man. He might just be like lava damage, yeah. Get me with that shit. So 23 on the first one. Half it to 11. <coughs> really not full damage. The knees are halved again, thankfully for you. That's a high, high roll there. Right, like this. Why did I decide this? I can't write normally. I thought this was the play. We said I'm halved to... 13 and then half again to 6. And the last one. Oh fuck. Can I be unfrightened by how little damage they did? What number did you It's a 4, but it is closer to an H than a 4, so I had to rewrite it. Yeah. 124. I thought you were at 110. No, I was at 130. I, I just can't write. Like I can't write. That's like what it is. One. I just can't write, is what it is. <laughs> I was so confused. I actually health. healed 14 health from so the attack. So, Trelonia will have to make three saves when we come back. I'll write that down now. Wait, hit me with, What's the last one? Don't tell me that. I like, rolled it right now. Hold okay, on. Okay, I was gonna say, don't tell I me that. I just didn't add it up. did fucking, what, like 20 damage? I was hoping. This one does 20,000. The last one does 20,000. So, you have the re resistance. It's halved from 16 to 8 and then halved again to 4. I don't know why I raised it. It could have been a lot worse, dude. Sure could have. Sure could have. The ball of lava did 12 damage. Helps to have or good 16? items. 16? That's what it did. 16 damage. No, I'm saying. I feel like the ball. It should With be that, much that the that kind of bursts forward, <laughs> completely engulfs Ander to where he becomes non visible. And then the, once the flame starts to settle, you can see him like hit the ground and start to just like backpedal to try to get away. And the three hounds that are there don't even notice you guys. They're just focused, dead set in on Andrew right now. <laughs> don't go. <laughs> now maybe that'll give us an advantage on attack. <laughs> uh, with that, we are going to pick it up next time we play. Thank you for sitting in for this quick session and finishing up that combat to get into the next leg of this um, whole battle that we're going through here. Um, thank you for tuning in. Make sure you follow our YouTube and follow the Twitch to get put in the giveaway. Um, take it easy. Thank you.